So if you fly over the ocean, you're gonna see water, the occasional island, per chance a dolphin, and unfortunately, a whole lot of plastic. And when this plastic, which lasts a thousand years, gets into the ocean, it's a mess. But that's when Innovation Nation becomes Innovation Ocean. And there just might be a method to fix this plastic madness. Millions of tons of plastic waste have been dumped into our oceans, not only killing marine life, but poisoning humans who eat the fish that have ingested pieces of the toxic plastic. A young man from the Netherlands, 20-year-old Boyan Slat, came up with a bold, innovative solution to clean up the plastic. We spoke with Boyan from our home base at the Henry Ford in Dearborn, Michigan. So Boyan, what experience did you have that made you think, I gotta do something about all this plastic junk in the ocean? Well, I was uh, 16 years old and I was diving in Greece and suddenly I realized I came across more plastic bags than fish. So this eventually led to me developing world's first feasible method to clean up half the Pacific garbage patch in just 10 years time. There are five areas in the oceans called gyres where the plastic concentrates because the ocean currents converge. And the largest one and also the most infamous one is of course the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And it's in fact so dense, a third of all the plastic of all the oceans combined can be found in this area halfway between Hawaii and California. Boyan spent half a year researching plastic pollution, the problems with trying to clean it up. He theorized the ocean currents themselves could be used as a solution to this massive global problem. His award-winning idea is called the Ocean Cleanup Array and he's already gotten funding to build a prototype. It seems like an impossible task to clean up all the plastic junk that's floating around in all the oceans. How does your idea work? Instead of going after the plastics, I came up with a system that's attached to the seabed. Looks like a giant letter V. And what happens is that the plastic gets captured while the ocean current passes underneath these floating barriers. And the plastic is then concentrated towards the center where it's then so dense you can hardly see the water. And that's the place where we can then efficiently extract the plastic from the actual water. Even though Boyan's idea is still in the early testing stages and a few years away from being fully operational, if he succeeds, he'll harvest a plethora of plastic garbage. Because we don't use any nets, we use solid barriers. This takes away all the sea life while the floating plastic stays sort of in a triangle in front of it. Well, Boyan, we thank you. The oceans thank you. We wish you the best of luck with this idea. No, thank you.